you guys like fish platters, then I got one for you. This delicious southern fish platter today on Cooking with Tovia, and I'm Chef Tovia. I'm going to show you guys everything you see in the photograph here. We're going to begin with making the butter rice, which is very fragrant, buttery, and super easy to make. And then we're going to move on to the kale, which is very delicious, quick cooking. And finally, I'm going to show you guys how to cook the flounder. You'll be able to find all the recipe ingredients in the description box under the video. Please follow me on social media and subscribe to Cooking with Toast. We're going to be moving fast today. So I'm going to add my onions to my butter here that I begin to melt on high heat. I'm going to turn the heat down to medium. I'm going to cook the onions for one to two minutes just so into their trans. So it's been about a minute and what I'm going to do is just add my garlic. Get a stir around and just let that cook for a few seconds. And I have here long green rice. I've already rinsed it. I rinsed it under cold water. I'm gonna give this a stir. Then I'm gonna add the remaining butter because we're making butter rice. I'm gonna turn the heat back on high. And I'm gonna melt all this butter down with this rice. Okay, so my butter has melted. So what I'm gonna do is add the water. And give this a stir. I just added just some of that water just now. I'm gonna add the part. So after the butter melted, I added the water to this and I added the parsley. And then I added some salt, just a little bit of salt. If you're gonna be using chicken stock, then you just need to adjust the salt. So, we're gonna bring this to a boil and we'll be right back. Okay, so this has come to a boil, so I'm gonna turn the heat down to medium. And I'm gonna add one bay leaf. Actually, I'm gonna turn the heat down to, to low. I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna let this cook for 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna remove it completely off the heat. So I have an onion that I've sliced and I begin to cook it in some olive oil here. I'm just doing this for the sake of time. And I'm gonna add my peppers. I'm using red and orange small sweet peppers. And I'm just gonna cook this just for a minute. So my onions and pepper have been cooking for a minute. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add my carrots. And I'm going to add my garlic. If you don't want to use garlic, you can leave it out. Do just a quick stir around together. Then I'm going to pour over my kale that I've already cleaned. Don't worry if it seems like it's not going to all fit in there, but it will cook down. And kale doesn't take very long to cook at all. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt now. Because it's good to add salt to whatever you're cooking in the beginning. So that way your item won't come out too salty. So then just a little bit of salt. And then I'm just going to wait till it comes to a boil. We'll know that's boiling because we'll see all that steam coming up. Okay, so it's come. it has came to a boil. And I'm going to add here a packet of ham flavor concentrate and um, from my understanding this is vegan so this is actually not real ham so we're going to add one packet of ham seasoning and we're going to add the sugar I'm going to give everything a stir together we're going to stir all those peppers and onions and carrots on top of this kale so all that flavor can be really absorbed into the kale and the good thing about kale doesn't take very long to cook at all. It's very quick cooking. And I'm going to add just some paprika and some black pepper. And I like coarsely ground black pepper, so that's what I'm using. You can adjust it to taste at the end. So we're going to give everything a stir together. And I'm going to put this on medium heat. I'm going to cover this with a lid. 
and we're gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes or until you know it's as tender as we want it to be 15 minutes is how long I'm gonna cook mine I have some oil here and then I have some leftover oil that I'm gonna to add to this fresh oil it just helps the oil fry better and I am going to heat this oil to it's about 300 degrees Fahrenheit in my cast iron skillet so I have a seafood breader here that I made just for the sake of time I've already whisked it together you can find all the ingredients you just simply throw everything in a bowl together and whisk it together and I have here some flounder and I'm gonna just simply roll everything into the flounder and I'm gonna set it on my wire rack and just let it dry for about three minutes or so while the oil's heating up and then before I fry it I'm gonna re-dip it in this seafood breader so that way everything has a chance to stick to the fish and it'll have a nice so I'm going to take my instant meat thermometer to take the uh, temp of the oil and I do have a giveaway coming for this too you can use this for pretty much everything you can't use it inside the oven to bake with so we're there we're about at 300 degrees See how that sizzles. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just pick up one of my fish here that has been sitting aside to dry. Look at this piece right here. So I'm going to dip it in my seafood breader again. Shake off all the excess seafood breader. And then I'm just going to place it into the pan. And we're going to fry this on about medium high heat just trying to keep it at a steady temperature it's not going to take very long we're going to fry it for about two or three minutes and flip it over just remember to shake off out that excess seafood butter so that way your oil doesn't burn up okay so now we're going to flip it it's starting to get nice and golden brown and we're going to let that cook for about another two or three minutes or so we'll know when it's done because the fish is going to begin to float a little bit and the oil is going to become silent and I'm still working on about medium medium high heat just keeping the heat adjusted try and get you a beautiful view the fish is ready it didn't take very long now if you wanted to cook the fish without as much oil you can put in a couple of tablespoons of oil in the pan you can pan fry it but when you put the fish in the pan to pan fry it you leave it in the pan for exactly at least four minutes medium high heat Start off on high heat, reduce the heat, and then after four minutes, flip it, cook it for enough, another four minutes, and you'll have perfect pan fried flounder, depending on the thickness. So, cook all your fish the same way, and we'll be back once everything is done. So, I'm going to fluff my rice. My kale is done, I turn up the heat, and I'm going to stir in a little bit of vinegar. So, my rice is done. Look how beautiful that butter rice looks. Exciting part, let's take a look at the kale. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to give all that a stir around. I'm going to add my apple cider vinegar just a little bit. Now if you don't want to add sugar to this like I did earlier, you can definitely leave it out because the carrots provides a substantial amount of sweetness to this my 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 doesn't that look delicious look at everything that butter rice is one of my favorites i haven't had it in years literally years so we're going to give everything a taste i think i'm going to save the best for last so here is our kale you can see all the peppers and onions carrots it's everything smells amazing so let's give it a taste Mm. very interesting flavor you got the sweetness from the peppers and the sweetness from the onions as well as the carrots nice sweet and tangy peppery flavor very delicious 
And then I'm going to taste the fish with our homemade seafood breader. It's so easy to make. I'm going to save tons of money. And I serve this with the uh, size of lemon wedges and tartar sauce. Mm. Delicious. The inside of that's flaky, tender. You see it's not dry. You can see the moistness. And finally, we get to taste that butter rice. Look at this. I'm going to give you guys a close up of that. Look how beautiful and it's not stuck together. It's perfect. Mm. Wow. Buttery, fragrant, nice flavors from everything that we put in there from the onions, the garlic, and the bay leaves. Very super easy, delicious to make. If you guys enjoyed this, please add this video to your playlist. I appreciate it if you take the time to share this video. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe with notifications so you'll be notified of my uploads. I have a giveaway coming on my baking channel with Sugary Sweet. I'm going to be doing a giveaway of a kitchen scale. Head over to the Sugar Sweet. You'll see the information in the iCard. Give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. Please remember to live and be well. Let's do what we can to come together to love one another.